have learned in our last class how to change active to passive. Today we will learn again we will learn active to passive in an imperative sentence. So, let us start our topic. Do the sum, it is an imperative sentence. If we turn it into passive, we use let. Let, let the sum be done. And the second one, always pick the truth. This is also an imperative sentence. Here we also use let the object of the sentence the truth let it will be the subject let the truth we use be be spoken always look at the board the first one is do the sum. Here we use let and the sum is a subject and also be and the first participle form of the verb do done. So, it will be let the sum be done. And the second one always speak the truth. Here we use let the truth be and the first participle form of the word speak spoken always. Now, we see some other example. Using model auxiliary. He can do the sum. Here we use model auxiliary can. When we turn it into passive, we will write the sum can be. The sum can be done by him. We only use be verb after the model auxiliary. He should do the task. So, the task should, should be done by her. So, when we turn it into passive, we only use be verb after the model auxiliary. And by following the previous structure, the sum, the first one he can do the sum, the answer will be the sum can be, the sum can be done by him. The second one she should do the task, the task should be done by her. Now we see some other examples by using double object. He gave me a book. Here we see the double object. One is me and the other is a book. We'll, we will turn it into passive. I was given a book by him. You can turn it into another way by using a book as a subject, a book was given me by him. Look at some other example where we see the reflexive pronoun.
when we turn it into passive we only use she was because this is the first form of the verb he was fanned by herself when there is reflexive pronoun we will change it just like this this is the example of a passive passive honey taste is sweet we turn it into passive by following this rule honey is tasted sweet or we can turn it into another way honey is sweet when it is tasted when there is cognate object this is the example of an cognate object she dreamed a sweet dream this is the cognate object and the cognate verb because the noun and the verb is the similar meaning she dreamt a sweet dream a sweet dream was dreamed by her and we see the another example of factitive object we made him captain we made him captain he was made captain by us so students we discussed many examples of changing voice from active to passive now we will see some other example where we don't use by but use some other preposition when we turn it into passive he annoyed me we know that when we turn it into passive we use by but here by is not used here we used i was and wait with him instead of by we use here with another example he is performance satisfied us we are satisfied at his performance here we see we use at instead of by i know the boy so we turned it into passive by using the boy is known to by using to the boy is known to me is it clear to you 
now we will see how we change from passive to active so we will start from passive to active this is the vice versa we discussed active voice to passive voice now we dis will discuss passive voice to active voice how to change passive voice to active voice now i will write some sentences to change passive to active look at the board the work is done by me this is the passive form so i turn it into active i the work is done by me i do the work i do the work the second one the work is being done by me this is the continuous form of passive form and also the continuous form if i turn it into a active i'll write i am because here is being so the active form is also continuous form i am doing the work the third one is the work has been done by me so here we see has been so if i turn it into active i'll write i had done the work can you turn it from passive to active by following this rule so if we practice active to passive then we can easily turn it into passive from passive to active there are some other examples where subject is not clear so we use appropriate subject my to read the sentences we use appropriate subject my pen has my pen has been stolen there is no subject so i think when i turn into active i use a suitable subject to turn it into active maybe someone someone has stolen my pen english is spoken all over the world who speak english of course it is people so i use people speak english all over the world look at the another example the sheep was burned 
who burned the sheep may be fire so we can write fire burned the sheep student i have discussed how to change from passive to active and active to passive i think if you practice it you will be able to change from active to passive and passive to active so i will give you some sw and uh, you will do it at home and practice it again and again and uh, when your school will open you will show it to your teacher and he will he or she will give you the marks So students, here is your HW, you will write down in your copy and if you want to see the class again, you will go to the website Kishore Batayon. Here you can ask any question, you can play quiz or you can write your comments. Okay, I hope you will enjoy the session. Thank you.